the shoulder examination. First thing to do is to expose the shoulder. In this examination, we're going to look at the right shoulder. And the first thing to do is to look at the shoulder and look for any asymmetry. Look at the shoulder profile, look at the shape of the deltoid to make sure there's no wasting of the deltoid, looking for any scars or any, any other abnormality. Then we'll palpate the shoulder. And we start with the sternoclavicular joint, just at the front here, working our way in over the clavicle to right over the acromioclavicular joint, palpating, look at the patient's face to see if there's any tenderness, feeling underneath the acromion, if there is any impingement, there may be tenderness here, and just feeling to the back of the shoulder itself. Next, we do the movements of the shoulder, and it's easy to be standing in front of the patient and ask them to follow your movements. Abduction first by lifting the arm up all the way to the top. Normal abduction should be 180 degrees. I'll put the, put the arm down. Forward flexion, 180 degrees again, and then down. External rotation is done with the elbows at the side and putting the arms out, comparing both arms together. It's very good, external rotation of almost 90 degrees in this patient. And internal rotation, turn the patient round and ask the, put the, ask the patients to put the hand behind the back as far as they can go, all the way to the top. So mark that position and do the same on the other side, just to see if the internal rotation is equal. Turn the patient round again. And we're going to test the rotator cuff power. So first of all, testing supraspinatus by asking the patients to lift their arm up against resistance and feel the strength compared to the other side. And then put the arm down. External rotator cuff power, elbows at the side, and asking the patients to external rotate, feel. And then internal rotator cuff power, this is Gerber, Gerber's lift-off test, turn the patient round, put the arm behind your back, and push away and test the power, and then compare to the other side and do that. Some patients will not be able to get their arm all the way back and the way to do this, turn the patient round, to test internal rotator power is just to push their tummy in, ask them to push their tummy in, put your hand underneath that and push, feel the power of that and compare that to the other side. And if they're weak you'll be able to notice the difference. We're then going to do impingement tests, signs for subacromial impingement and the first test is Hawkins test. This is done with the arm just placed out in front like this, just in front a little bit like that. And then we're just going to turn the arm to see if this catches, causes pain. And they'll notice the pain just here. Put the arm down. And if they do have impingement, another test to do is to just abduct their arm. If it catches here, put the arm back down. Externally rotate the arm, so turn the hand out and then lifting the arm up again. And this may free the greater tuberosity from the acromion. And if that's a little freer, that's a sign of impingement. I'm just going to turn the patient around to show you the sulcus sign, which is a sign of multidirectional instability. And we just hold on to the shoulder and pull the arm in that direction, looking for a little sulcus here. And then lastly, testing for instability or anterior instability of the shoulder, the apprehension sign, putting the arm up like that into that position, watching the patient, they may not like that. If they don't like that, that's a sign of anterior instability of the shoulder. And that's down. That's the end of the shoulder examination.